It's time for another road trip edition of Tim's Vinyl Confessions. I'm Tim Durling, and no, we did not move to the UK. I'm in the passenger side. Marley has her permit. Yay! And uh, we're driving to Moncton. She's driving part of the way, so. So here we are at Frank's Music in Moncton. Just arrived, and Marley made not one, not two, but four CDs of various Metallica <laughs> songs, so... We've been doing some head banging and realized that you can dance to a lot of these songs, but you probably shouldn't. So uh, let's see what we're going to. Oh, Mar Marley, show them the shirt. What oh, did you get there yeah. for a shirt? A little Master of Puppets shirt going on. So that's why I wore our uh, commemorative uh, Record Store Day 2016 shirt based on Ride the Lightning. So here we are at Frank's Music. Let's see what we can find. Outside Frank's Music, uh, they had some, uh, some cool vinyl to look at. A lot of great CDs. I've always been impressed by their CD selection. A lot of things I could have bought, but. Uh, just trying to space it out, you know, pace myself. But I did buy this, uh, Harem Scarum's latest, United. I love this album art. A little bit of Eye of Sauron going on here. Uh, their last album, 13, was fantastic. And if this is anywhere near as good, it's going to be a good one. So I'll be checking that out. Now we're, I believe, we're on to Dexter's Flea Market. Did I say the flea market? Did I say the flea market? Did I? I think I did. I meant Livewire. It's on the way. So we're going to go into Livewire Music for you. See if we can find it. We just got back from Livewire, and uh, I got a few things, which super eclectic. Um, I got the Rocky Horror Picture Show soundtrack, and I also got Simon and Garfunkel's Greatest Hits, and I also got... What did you tell me your reasoning was behind getting that? Um, I'm in grade 11. I need something calming. Okay. Um, and then I got three pins. I got The Clash's London Calling. I got a Fly By Night pin. And then I got a pin that has Young Metallica on it. All right, I'll hand you the camera bar. Yep. Got to Live uh, Live Wire. That's the best haul I've had there in a long time. Somebody had just unloaded a collection. So, uh, as always, you know, the more you buy, the more of a deal you get. Um, I'll show you the non-vinyl stuff that I got first. I got uh, Van Halen Video Hits DVD, which has far from all other videos on it, but... Um, if I spent a certain amount, I got some off, so it was worth it for me to do a little extra digging. So I got that. Um, yes, Keys to Ascension. Now, this is, uh, this is from 96. Most of it, I think, is live. But, uh, some of it is new studio tracks. So, um, kind of getting into Yes now. And I don't think this is one that you see all the time. It's on, uh, CMC Records, which doesn't even exist anymore. And uh, not a rare CD. I'll definitely have to replace the case on it because it's got some sort of stain on it. But the Fleetwood Mac, their 1975 album, not the first one by any stretch. And this isn't a remaster. It's just uh, an old Columbia House version. And vinyl, a lot of vinyl. Um, yes, Drama. This is from 1980. Now, I've heard this album before, and I really like it. This is the, this is the one that John Anderson is not on, or the first one he wasn't on. Trevor Horn was on this one. This has Tempest Fugit and a few other songs, Machine Messiah, Does It Really Happen. This is actually a fairly heavy album for Yes, so I really, really like it. I bought a couple albums that I've already had, like this April Wine Live, but this is in so much better shape than the one that I've had before. Like the one I've got before has got like tape on the bottom of it. Uh, I didn't actually look at the record. Now, the record doesn't have a sleeve, but that's okay, because I can use the sleeve from my other one. But this, this, this record uh, cover itself... Is in much better shape. Uh, another Yes record, Big Generator from 87. This one's got uh, plastic on it, but it is open on the side. Uh, yes album that I just got on CD. The kids got me for my birthday. Fragile. This is really cool artwork, obviously. Fleetwood Mac Rumors. Believe it or not, I've had a little bit of a hard time finding an old version of this. I don't want a brand new remastered version. A good used copy is fine with me. So I think that's what I've pretty much got here. It's got the, the sleeve that came with it, so there's that. Uh, Ario Speedwagon. A Decade of Rock and Roll, 1970 to 1980. This is a double record set. It's a Canadian version. You don't see this all that much. So that was a good one to have. Uh, the very first Deep Purple album from 68, Shades of Deep Purple, Hush was on this. It's a Canadian, ver I believe it's a Canadian version. It's on Polydor. In the States, it was on a different label. So, like, this is the oldest record I have now. This is from 1968. That's about as far back as I go. 
Another Deep Purple, Stormbringer. This is one of the David Coverdale albums. I love this artwork here. Um, the lyrics are printed right on the back cover, which is kind of interesting. And this is a Canadian version of this. Just a plain plastic sleeve. And finally, another one that I bought because of the condition it was in. This is Sammy Hagar Danger Zone, which I've had for a long time. This is almost brand new condition. I'm really, really pleasantly surprised with how good a shape this record is in. So, well we're stopping at Livewire Music Emporium downtown. We're just outside of Spin It now. Uh, Marley and I had a really good haul at Dexter's Fleet Market. We'll go over that and the stuff we spent at Spin It. And look who we ran into. It is Jex Russell from Jex Russell's Vinyl World. Hi, Cine kids. Cinebro Supreme <laughs> on YouTube. Jex, uh, yes. Jex tortured himself by going in. <laughs> Not buying anything. Mistake. Mistake. <laughs> no money. We have no money. You go to spin it. It's it's, it's a tease. It's a tease. So, but anyway, it's good to catch up with them. The vinyl community meeting up, and uh, I think Marley and I are going to go get something to eat at this point. So uh, yeah. So as promised, we're going to do a recap. Uh, we'll start with the uh, stuff that Dexter's Flea Market. So Marley, take it away. Okay, at Dexter's Flea Market, I got uh, Nirvana unplugged in New York. I got Smashing Pumpkins Greatest Hits. Um, I'll save the jokes for last. I got REM, Automatic for the People. I got Depeche Mode's Violator. You're going to need a spare case for that one. Yeah. Um, and then non music related, I got Stephen King's It. Not the new one. Not the <laughs> new one. But I wanted to watch this one before I watched the new one. And then, as. <laughs> My friend loves George Michael, like with a burning passion, so I got her Wham! Jitterbug. Make it big, yep. And then they were on 3 for 10, so I got my brother Smash Mouth, what's it called? Ast Astro Lounge, the one that's got All Star on it. Okay. All right, let's switch this over. So yeah, got some stuff, some cool stuff at Dexter's Flea Market. So we'll go over it. Uh, Bad Company Rough Diamonds, this is from 82. This is... Um, the U.S. edition. This is a cool die cut cover, uh, which means that it changes depending on which way you put the sleeve. It's a cardboard sleeve. Um, so you put it in this way, and you gotta be careful not to the, the sort of the nubs on the end of it there. I think that my CD, I have to check, just looks like that. It's sort of like a. Uh, the Callis Cooper from the inside, or Led Zeppelin physical graffiti type of thing. Sleeves in good shape. Picked this up from my good friend Matt. He didn't have it. You don't see very much Cinderella vinyl. Uh, Canadian version of Long Cold Winter. This is an original copy on Polygram, and it looks to be in pretty good shape. We'll see what the record itself looks like. It's got the original sleeve, all the lyrics, and the record itself looks in really good shape. Uh, I picked this one up, Alice Cooper, Pretties for You. This is his first album, and it's, you don't see either of his first two albums that much. So this is a version on Straight Records, but it's also on Warner Brothers. And so this would be from 1969, although there's no year on it. It's pretty old. It says manufactured and distributed by Kinney Music of Canada. It doesn't even say distributed by Warner Brothers. The sleeve itself, that's a typical Warner Brothers sleeve. The Burbank uh, look on it. Vinyl's not in bad shape. That's very rare. And I got, um, like I've said many times, it's getting harder to find original versions of things. Motley Crue Girls, Girls, Girls. Now this recently came out in a 30th anniversary edition, but this is an original Canadian version on Electra Records. So glad to get that. And a, a couple of tapes to fill out the order. Um, Todd, you're going to like these. Max Webster, their first one on cassette. That's such a strange, strange album cover. Anthem Records and uh, Diamonds, Diamonds. This is a slightly older cassette. So yeah, good run at Dexter's Flea Market. And now that uh, we're, we're at Outside Spin It, I got a few things at Spin It. Heart, Bad Animals, 1987 on Capitol Records. Brian Adams, Reckless. Believe it or not, been looking for a used copy of this. Not a new one. Used is fine. And uh, some cassettes. 
tried to message Will. If he doesn't want this, I'll keep it. Copy of Kiss Unplugged, sealed, sealed cassette. And two more to add to my April wine collection. I was so pleased to find these ones. Really old version of First Glance, a Canadian version on Aquarius Records. Guessing that's an original issue. And Forever For Now, not an original, but uh, still a very old issue of that. So very happy with uh, today's haul of things. And now Marley, okay, you got something that looks like my shirt. Haha. <laughs> I only got two things, but I got uh, Metallica's Ride the Lightning, no, yeah, Ride the Lightning on uh, vinyl here, and I also got uh, So What, which it's like a, it's a Metallica book. Metallica book. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. now it's time to eat. Yes. I'm about ready to leave uh, Moncton, and uh, it's been a fairly successful day. We're at the uh, Champlain Place parking lot. Marley and I just went to Sunrise. And I was surprised by a couple of things. I got same band, uh, Twisted Sister, live at Hammersmith. This came out, I think this came out in 1994. This has a copyright date of 2001 on it, but it's been reissued a few times. Uh, I've never gotten around to getting it. And also this uh, Club Days, Volume 2, live at the bars. Start Thunder Lightning out. So uh, some Twisted Sister to add to my CD collection. And Marley, take it away. Okay. Um... I got a couple things. They were two for ten. I got a Megadeth icon, and I also got Skid Row's first album. All right. Okay, we just came back from Sunrise in Fredericton in the Regent Mall. Now, there were two things that I really wanted to get today that I hadn't gotten, so I made dead stop. One of the things was... Unknown Pleasures by Joy Division, either on CD or vinyl, so I got that. And then, the other thing that I really wanted to get, which we looked everywhere for, was one of the new Metallica pop figures. So, this was the last one they had, I'm fine with it, so, yeah. And if I had to come in, um... I thought I'd get something. I saw it two or three times and I thought I'd pick it up. It is the deluxe version of Def Leppard's Hysteria, the 30th anniversary edition on CD. And uh, this version has it's three discs, so disc one is the album itself. Discs two and three are for the first time the just this simple audio version of Live in the Round in Your Face, which was their concert video they put out in uh, 1989 from the Hysteria tour. Wish they'd have put it out as a standalone so it would be a different release, but they didn't. This is the closest I'm going to find to that. And because it was only $5.99, I picked this uh, compilation up, Classic Yes. It was originally released in 1981. Yeah, so very, very successful haul. We'll do a...